rockfish are so seriously depleted in many areas, divers could really help doing a rockfish survey. And I have to confess, we've had problems with this survey because it's a little more intimidating to divers. There are various species of rockfish. And in our own research dives, we actually count the rockfish. And that's not easy to do. You really have to focus. If you go to vanacqua.org, to the aquarium's website, you can find our rockfish survey and then you can, in the instructions, find a link to play the rockfish game. And it's a nice little moving picture game where you can see what the identifying characteristics are for different species. Once someone tells you, it's pretty easy. Copper and quillback rockfish are both dark rockfish, but hey, the whole back end of the quillback, fins and all, is completely dark. Copper rockfish are called white bellies in the US because that's the only rockfish that has white on the belly. Once you realize that, hey, it's easy. We have a simple rule. If it's no bigger than your hand, then you can call it a juvenile. If it's bigger than your hand, call it an adult. Uh, First, though, you have to measure your hand against a 20 centimeter ruler because the literature accepts 20 centimeters as adult size. And with very little practice, you can get so that you are pretty accurate, especially if you mark 20 centimeters on your slate. If you see a rockfish or a lingcod, but rockfish in particular, because it's easy to, to get a 20 centimeter measure, landmark the fish. That is, See what its tail is right next to and what its nose is right next to. Then ignore the rockfish, it's going to move. And go up to that limpet and that kelp hold fast and put your slate against those two objects and you have gotten a landmarked measure that's very accurate and you can tell whether that fish was bigger than 20 centimeters or, or under. And then you can just remember that you saw an adult or a juvenile. You don't have to do that too many times during a dive before you're just seeing which ones are adults and which ones are juveniles. And after the dive, make your best guess as to how many you saw. To say a few or many doesn't really help us, but be brave, accept that you might make an error, but say, I think I saw 15. I'm sure that it was at least 35. Put down a number, guess at it, and we'll accept experimental error. We don't want you to say, I saw a few or I saw very many. We need for you to try to remember how many. And it's a discipline that gets to be fun because uh, if you're doing it with a buddy, make it a competition. If you get so that you enjoy doing rockfish surveys, whenever the visibility and the habitat is, is suitable for you to do that, and if you get involved in the aquarium's program, then you start appreciating more about your dives. It's really fun when you start to know which species of rockfish you're seeing. And it's very important because there are certain areas where there are periods of time where a particular species of rockfish becomes very rare. We need to have in more information on that and the sport divers are the ones who are down there seeing it. It's just that if you aren't paying attention to it and not reporting it, then nobody knows.